Plug it in and get ready to rock. Sleep your ass down with the hands of the clock. We're in a gay pineapple, so sublime. Like, comment, subscribe. It's time! Yeah! Hello! Hiya! Welcome back to Kingdom Hearts 2 on Renegade Pineapple. <laughs> you just attacked him instead. We're going to do the Winnie the Pooh level. Well, we're going to introduce the concept of Winnie the Pooh in Kingdom Hearts. Now, Winnie the Pooh is different because it's a book! <laughs> <laughs> That's a very childish laugh. That is a childish joy <laughs> laugh. So Winnie the Pooh, man. Winnie the Pooh is awesome. Yes, do, you, do you think most kids nowadays know who Winnie the Pooh is? I don't know. He's a bear, but he's not really a bear. He's a teddy bear. I don't know if I really keep up to date with what... Uh, do you know the, Winnie the Pooh... under ten kids are in you know, Winnie the Pooh is actually a white bear, but he's eating so much honey, he's, he's turned yellow. yellow. Yeah. So when you touch him, he's really sticky. Is it supposed to be a stuffed bear, isn't he? So is it supposed to be that it's the name Christopher Robbins, isn't it? The Christopher Robbins, name? yeah. Probably. Is it that he's tried to feed him so much honey he's become stained yellow? Yeah, and he's he's sticky and the boy doesn't like him when he's left out in the woods. That is clever. And dark. It's actually quite a clever story. Yeah. Mr Sanders. That's one of the questions. Who the fuck is Mr Sanders? He's, is, is his name Pooh Sanders? You know, so you know how... Uh, People get their surnames from like the way what they did for a living. Yeah. Well, he what? sanded the door. Uh, yeah, and that's just an advertisement so for his work. You know how you see scaffolding sometimes. Who sanded the door? <laughs> Mr. Sanders. It's just that's just is that actually a thing or have you just made that up? I made it up. <laughs> that's, that is entirely logical. <laughs> but of course it is. I made it up. Oh, it's a map of this little tiny area because we can't find our way around here. The hundred acre wood. It's tiny. Okay, we're gonna to talk to Winnie the Pooh, but we're gonna find out soon that something went wrong. Oh, hello, Sora. Is that how he talks in this one? No, no, no. I think it's like... uh, so, according to the Google, the Google Matron, other search engines are available. Uh, uh, Mr. Sanders was whoever owned the tree before Pooh moved in. Oh, really? Oh, shit. Look, here we go. So we've just been pushed out of poo land. We've just we've just been <laughs> we've just forced some poo out. And we're gonna find out that we shouldn't have gone to the book. We should have waited for Merlin because there's something wrong with the book. So really, but we never meet Mr. Sanders. Yeah, it says. Right, I'm gonna just read out literally what comes up as the top result for everyone to learn some Winnie the Pooh based facts. Before we go back into Winnie the Pooh. Right. We do just come out and go back in, don't we? No, we, we go fight some Heartless and we go back oh, in to check in. on how Pooh is. Yeah. They still says, it says, the real Mr. Sanders was the prior resident of the house where Pooh now lives. Mr. Sanders. Therefore, when A. a. Milne wrote in his book that Pooh lived under the name of Sanders, the, bu the book clarifies this witty statement by stating... It means he had the name Sanders over the door in gold letters and Pooh lived under it. They stole the book. So, I'm guessing it's implying that in the book, him living under the name Sanders was supposed to have the double meaning of it. It sounded like he lives using the name Sanders, but he actually literally just lives under yeah, the name Yeah, because Sanders. Royal Mail would never deliver mail to a bear. To Pooh Bear. Yeah, exactly. they would only deliver it to a real person, so he had to yes. come up with a fake name. That very clever bear. Yeah. <laughs> Working that postal <laughs> system. <laughs> so what we're saying here really is that Pooh Bear is an identity thief. Yeah. No, but he, not only really that, but he killed Sanders. <laughs> he, yeah, he killed Sanders and Drowned put him, him in the honey, honey pots. <laughs> yeah, he turned him into honey. So we cried What's that? that new red honey that you've got there, Pooh Bear? That's what his shirt's dyed with. He's dyed with honey, his shirt's dyed with the blood of Mr Sanders. Dark man. Dark. <laughs> is, that, is that strawberry jam you're eating? I thought you only liked honey. No, it's Mr. Sanders. Oh, nom, Pooh Bear. That's nom, another nom. funny joke for Pooh Bear. Yeah. Oh, Pooh Bear. Want to go play poo sticks? It still sounds like picking up a turd. Well, it's, it's when uh, you beat. That's, uh, poo sticks is when Pooh beats you with a stick. <laughs> <laughs> you beat Mr. Sanders. So we find out here that some pages have been stolen by the Heartless. 
And that it's after everything up in the hundred yeah, all about the world, and you have to get them to carry on Pooh Bear's story. Yeah, and they've scattered all across the universe somehow in this brink of an eye. So that you can get one of the like worst looking keyblades at the end of it. But you do get a satisfying ending. Yes. Where you say Pooh Bear, I don't like you. Yeah, you're like Pooh Bear, go fuck yourself. I'm out of here. I'm gonna burn this book when I leave. But you get to go in this world where you hear the. It's nice. Oh, that might be a problem. What, is that the mean? background music in this? Oh, oh I see. Like, it's part of the game. If it gets copyrighted on a couple of levels, I don't mind. It won't be a serious copyright anyway. I will talk to Pooh Bear because he's he's thinking that we've made it thus far without getting a copyright on any of the Kingdom Hearts videos. Really? You're yeah. joking me. So glad you're okay, Pooh. Not the, um, we did our impression. The Mickey though. Mouse music might be the <laughs> the. Mickey Mouse. That might be a problem. Oh, yeah, maybe. Is that. Oh, yeah, is it? In Mickey Castle, yeah. Yeah. But I think it's a slightly different. It's like an orchestral version of this, isn't it? So it might be alright. Yeah. Who knows? We'll find out. But it doesn't matter if it's a couple of episodes anyway. Doesn't matter if it was all of them. Still want to play it. I love this game. It's a good game. So, we did meet Winnie the Pooh in the previous game. Yes. So just to just to make this to clarify this, so we were friends of him, but and and now that did... the book's been fucked up, he's forgotten us. Yes. But also, when we met him before, we just went to his world, whereas now it's in a book. No, we went to the book in the first. We, game. Is it still for a book in the first one? Yes. Oh, okay, that makes sense. Then. Otherwise, it would have been weird that like this time you needed a book to see him. It makes total sense if you play the game. Oh, Merlin is pissed. He's like, what the hell? You notice the seal above his door is an owl. What? Is it? Oh, Archimedes. Yeah. He needs to come in the next game. Yeah. He's like... Ooh. Is that it? What? Well, yeah, you need to go back in there again. No, that's it. Oh, that was brief, wasn't it? Yeah. Oh, now we get to do some gummy ships then, I suppose. Yeah, we need to do a gummy ship then. Now. See, look. It's a hundred acre word. And if you look above where the book is... There's a picture of wood. <laughs> that's that's the link. That's the hidden I, meaning. I said a wood. I mean of a wood. Look, there's, Sorry. There's, there's a wood, and you know that uh, thing it's standing on. Do you know what that's made out of? Wood. <laughs> I'm just blowing your mind. <laughs> Everything. It's just woods. This. The, you've got to find a hundred different kinds of wood. That's how you get to finish the book. If an ent had walked in there, he'd be like blown, blown his mind. <laughs> so yeah, so thanks, Marion, for this. That's like this. Why couldn't we have done this when we first visited you? Oh, we got Baseball a summon. That's a uh, chicken, chicken little. little, yeah. A terrible film. One of the most like? unsuccessful. <laughs> I don't know if it's that unsuccessful. And Zach Braff in it. I think one of the most unsuccessful Disney films is uh, it's not a cartoon it's um, e- uh, Carter Mars Mars Carter John Carter from Mars yeah I think that was real disappointment wasn't it mm. apparently so so we'll do this last uh, gateway to shittiness is it to Hercules isn't it to Hercules, Hercules. to the underworld and the tournaments as well I, I think like and James Wood gives his voice to uh, yeah, Hades he's James so, Wood yeah so there's another actor who yeah, I think all of the Hercules people are the Hercules people. I think Megra's got the right voice as well. I hope you get to fight like the Tornado Titan and the um, La Lava Titan in the next game. Because mm. well, you get to fight. Be, I, I just want them to keep in the tournament thing. I like the tournament, the cups that you get to do in this. Yeah, they'll do. They'll have that. They'll they have definitely that. need that. They have still because it's fun. They need to do, but maybe they'll do that. You get one of the cool Final Fantasy characters in that level as well in this game. Yeah, did, uh, have you actually played 10? No. So, but he's old, but he's cool. I've yeah. seen him in this. You should play 10 then. Yeah. I do want to play 10. Yeah, Oran, yeah. Um, Oran, that's his name, yeah. Oran. Oran? But he's a cool character. He's a cool design. He is cool. Right? A bit badass. He talks a bit like uh, Wolverine or the Punisher. He's a bit, I've got to do justice stuff, but I'm quite dark. <laughs> oh, wait. I don't want to tell you. Well, well, no, you no got... I don't want to know. Well, well, you no, know, he probably you, tells you in this anyway. You, yeah. you know that, well, he, you, 
you discover him in the underworld, so you know in his main game yeah. he's dead. Yeah, <laughs> true. It's a pirate ship. Yes, why is this a pirate based level before? It's not a pirate, no, no, I think it's just like showing you what's to come in the next couple of levels. Oh, is this just going through time currently? Is this like Doctor Who? Uh, I don't know, but it's oh, really no. shitty. Oh no, there is a pirate, is a pirate ship. ship. Why is this not the one before Pirates of the Caribbean? What were the other things? There was kind of a sp one that just looked like a canyon. Uh, the themes are shittiness and shouldn't Why are they all something to do with where you're going? That would be cool. That would have made sense. And yeah, this bit's so annoying because you have to wait because you can't actually shoot what you need to here. Ah, yes, did it. I did it. I don't think I've ever defeated this ship. Oh, what? Destroyed everything on it? Yeah, I don't think I've ever done it. You just have to shoot out the bits that you've been doing, don't you? The bits on oh, the bomb. Bomb. weird wheel things that it doesn't actually need, because it's a ship. I don't think you can defeat it unless you have like a more advanced... Uh, yeah, I think you, I think most of them, to oh, complete it fully, you'd have to come back at the end. Maybe. With all the upgrades. And Maybe. Just make a ship that is entirely weapons. That'd be a good way to blitz through it. Don't make an actual ship, just put weapons on every surface. Fill out the whole block that you're allowed to design with just weapons. Are you getting close to defeating all the cannons? Yeah, and now I think you go down to the other side, don't you? Just have to ship like you did on the other side. You have to ship oh, the other parts of the wheel. Oh, yeah. Come on, you big wheel. There you go. How's that? Now? Oh, you've got to do that. Jeez. That's good. I'll just end it for you now. I think the really ship comes behind time. you, isn't it? Doesn't the ship come behind you? There you oh, go. There's a skull. And it opens up. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Ah, get away from me! Get away! Ah, it's got me! Uh, you're doing so well, you knocked out all the parts of it. Get off me! <coughs> uh, I, don't, I don't know how to get rid of those bloody things. Oh, I did it. There you go. Are you sure you never defeated the ship, or do you have to defeat the ship to carry it? I don't think I've never done that before. <laughs> I don't know, maybe I did. Prove yourself wrong. I don't know. It's so shitty that I can't even bother to remember it. Yeah. Woo! Finally, that's it. When you're fighting the Death Star, Death then Star. you'll care. You may fire, we're ready. Um, so we <laughs> 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 the sound effects. The older end. <laughs> Just do the opening of uh, Hercules. Hercules. Pericles. Mm -hmm. The actual name of who he should be. Well, he's not real. No, I mean, he's, what he's based on. I don't know why they call it Hercules in the Disney film when he's based is on. Is Herc? Hercules. There's Heck. Her is not a very good name. Herc. Herc. Heck. Is not a very good short name. Herc is. Herc. Yeah, I suppose. Or Cleese. Yeah, they should have <laughs> just called him Cleese. <laughs> what up, Cleese? Land in Olympus Coliseum. I like the, your options for landing. You've got one of them's like, maybe later, dot, 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 like, no, nah, I might never come back. You have to. You have to do it. <laughs> the options of landing. You have to go to every level. That's how a game works. Oh, so we defeated in, in this kind of game anyway. creature in the first game. The Rock Titan. But right now, Hercules is showing him the beers. Why is he fighting that one when there's no audience? Nobody's watching him. There is. If you in the background, you can hear the audience go. Ooh, yeah, yeah, where where are they? They're invisible. The, the chairs are empty. They're invisible. They're the guards. They're on Mount Olympus. Yeah, they're just looking down. <laughs> nice job, son. Thanks. Zoom. <laughs> well, do you think he'll be in it? Yeah. The, the guy. Of course he will. Oh, with the, the voice actor. Yeah. Who did the voice? The guy who went insane. The guy who plays oh. Zed in Men in Black. Oh. 
Oh, um, Rip. Rip Thorne, yeah, is it Rip Thorne? Rip, Thor- Rip Thorne. Yeah, Rip Thorne, that's it. The guy that went insane, did he go insane? He so? shot up a, a place with a gun, didn't he? Did he? I don't think, oh, it was closed, I think. But... I didn't know that. I think he did. Is that the guy who went metal? He had like a breakdown. Well, let's find the fuck He was out. like, I can't be in men in black no more. And help me. I can't be in men in black no more because I've decided <coughs> to take on a life of shooting things. This is all the way down to legal troubles. Um, he broke into somewhere. Oh yeah, maybe that was it. I thought he had that. a gun. He was charged with carrying a firearm, a firearm without a permit. Who knew? It doesn't mean he couldn't work on this. It's not like he just. Maybe he doesn't want it. Maybe he's depressed about being an idiot. About being. Garland. <laughs> Men in black. He seems to think was the main problem. Well, he didn't, want, know he didn't want to do any more men in black. I don't want to do it. I don't want to do it. He's got a good voice, though, isn't he? Yeah. Arr, 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 arr. Wasn't he one of the voices in uh, God of War as well? He may have been. He might. But he played Zeus in her. Yes. That is true. So, looks like Heracles is fighting all the monsters in the Colosseum while Lord Hades. It just keeps on selling them. He's the he's Hephaestus in uh, God of War. Hephaestus. 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 Yeah, I can't pronounce it properly for some reason. Oh yeah, he is. Yeah, yeah. No, he, right. He's he's spelled in God of War three. He's yeah? spelt Hephaestus. That's why I pronounce it that way. It's got a P and a H in there, isn't it? Yeah, it's P H A E S T U S. Hephaestus. Yeah. Hephaestus. <laughs> I'm going to pronounce it English style rather than it's probably supposed to be pronounced more Latin. So should we? Oh, we've got to go see Lord Hades. Uh, do we want to save the underworld? Yeah, I think we're just going to save here, and then we'll do the underworld next yeah. time. Next time. So save it that. Uh, we're all done. So that is it for this episode. Go for that screen. Go over to Megro just so that you show where we are. Yeah, that's it for this episode. We'll see you next time where we're going to do some underworldy stuff and get in the ship thanks to Megra. He slightly screws you over. Look at that duck. <laughs> Look at that duck butt. <laughs> duck butt. Goof butt. But I can't do that. I can't do that. Can't do so well. I can do fucking bad, but I can't do goofy. I can't do goofy. (laughs) Why are you trying to? I'm trying to make up, you know, do the thingy thing, do the shaky thing. Twerk. Yeah, that's it, yeah. (laughs) (laughs) Alright, we'll see you next time. Goodbye. Goodbye. Oh, my dears, I'm a talking (laughs) cupboard. Is that what her voice is like? No, it's not. It's more like a, oh, I'm a talking cupboard. (laughs) Wait, why are you called Pinky? How's the brain? I'm the brain! Oh my god, it all works out! I'm Einstein and she's Pinky! We're Pinky and the brain! This is, this is the best day ever. That new red honey that you've got there, Pooh Bear, that's what his shirt's dyed with. He's dyed with honey, his shirt's dyed with the blood of Mr. Sanders. Fucking <laughs> dark, man. Dark! Is that, is that strawberry jam you're eating? I thought you only liked honey. No, it's Mr. Sanders.